And when first danger comes, I'm going to eat you, uh, is it first line, right? Calabal goes down away from here, and you must go away from here. That's why you go down. Uh -huh. My name is Kalabok. Uh -huh. A little bit late. Uh -huh. Nice to meet you. And as you go down, you're still too close. You should be like two feet this way. We are yeah, uh, yeah. artists, Open entertainers for children. But we're standing on the, on the position that uh, until recently, uh, performance was never just uh, entertainment. Puppet show was never just uh, for fun, uh, as storytelling, for example. It was always the process of teaching the audience to s something. So we're trying to stay on the one hand. We just uh, have wonderful, interesting, funny, uh, or sad story for children and have them uh, live with uh, live through this life with our characters but our hope is that uh, parents and teachers would use this event to do their work as a teachers and as a parents to help children uh, think about what's happened and come up with uh, answers to all these questions of the moral uh, nature or um, social uh, uh, nature, whatever was brought up during the show. We really want to bring out the uh, uniqueness of puppetry and although over the old times um, uh, puppets were like a traveling performance uh, having this space where we can have a museum where we can uh, collect the puppets and uh, offer uh, this unique artifacts to audience and of course the place where we can teach that's what uh, of course basic makes uh, permanent place more attractive and uh, desirable, and we feel just necessary to have this. Kalabok is a Russian folk tale. I was born in Russia, I grew up in Russia, and Kalabok was always my favorite story. Uh, but then we learned that, well, there is an English story which everyone knows, and the story is the gingerbread man. You know that story? Yeah. yeah. Of course. Well, the cowboy. And I came originally just to actually to film things, and tape things, and uh, after a while of uh, being here, they asked me to join because, uh, you know, like sometimes you just sort of connect, you know. So I connected here, we w do well with each other, you know. Right. I have an idea. What if, what? What if you take some flour and some sour cream and you roll it in a bowl? You can be on stage, this is from what I know. There's a certain way you can do it where you're seen at the same time the puppet is seen. And it's like a relationship where, uh, you know, you, you're sort of shadowing the puppet. In the puppetry sense, I'm trying to uh, not distract by them watching me, but uh, have a, a nice balance where they're uh, watching it. But it's safe to see me because I'm it's appropriate for me to be there.
that in the ball. So if I would have this ball, man, it would make whole ball come. Come my friends. Uh, I used to be a clown, really funny clown, but now I don't go on the stage. But I know a lot of stories I'd like to share with you. See, we use the same details, same materials, but we can make different characters for our story every time. Okay? I'm sure they can do it themselves. It is always two sides process. There is no theater without the audience. So as we work on stage, the audience should work in their place. We bring up the topic and we want them to learn how to ask themselves questions and uh, learn how to find the answer. All these you know, exercises. For us it is important to have this, draw this line. During the performance, it is entertainment, which has educational value. And we're not teachers here, we're actors here. Before and after, we can assume the role of teachers and uh, uh, parents. Uh, so.